If you don't know who Sofia Richie is by now, you must be living under a rock. She is 2023's style icon. Whether it comes to skincare, makeup, fashion, lifestyle, fitness, or even your wedding or relationship inspiration, she is the internet's current it girl. In today's video, we are turning into her aesthetic. I'll be showing you guys outfit, cooking, nail, inspiration, and just overall me living like her lifestyle. So let's get into it. starting fresh face I've got wet hair no makeup we are starting off with the Sophia Richie staple which is her hair and makeup now we all know she's known for having super clear skin and her hair is often picked up out of her face and she does have a tutorial for her classic signature sleek bun and so we are gonna follow it together we have her tutorial right here on my computer and we are going to follow it along and achieve for her perfect sleek back bun now one thing I will say is though she has a stellar hairline and I'm a little bit nervous for my I'm not gonna lie, but anyways, let's get on into it. She does a really different technique that I'm actually really excited to try out because I've never done my hair like this before. So first of all, she starts with wet hair. She says that she puts in some detangling spray. I do not have a detangling spray, so I'm gonna use this one by Gizu. This is a propolis infused heat protectant spray, but it also is good for blow drying, styling tools, whatever. I'm gonna spray this all over my hair. So my first step is getting a strong center part. I have one of these, which she uses as well. And we're just going to make a middle part here. Hopefully this is strong enough. So she uses an oil and a lotion, which I'm going to use the Moroccan oil treatment. And I have this creamy nourishing oil. I don't know, we're gonna use this. I'm also gonna use this mask from Kerastase. I think she says to use a mask. I don't know if this is the proper one, but this is what we're gonna use. So she says to make a little section like this and then to just curl this and just tie it in a little knot. Hopefully that is enough hair. And then as for the rest of the hair, she just ties it in a ponytail. It's so heavy with the hair mask. I honestly don't know if that's good for your hair. She said the most important thing is to make sure that the back is really stuck down to your head. We brush this back and she says that she uses the lotion on her hairline. So I'm gonna use this. These little baby hairs are gonna need to be dealt with after, but she does this super tight and then ties it back into her ponytail. Go so tight here, and then she twists it and does a little bun and then secures it with a ponytail. Damn, she is tight. Oh my God, I look. <laughs> How do I color in my literal balding spots? It literally feels so tight to my head. I actually watched a video just the other day learning that apparently doing your hair when it's wet is actually really bad for it. So I don't know if this is necessarily the healthiest thing for your hair, but we're doing it for the sake of Sophia Ritchie. Okay, there you go. I might need some gel just to tie up these little side pieces, but I think it's pretty good. Okay, moving on, it's time for the skin. So she starts with a super glowy base. So I did my skincare, my moisturizer, and I'm just gonna go ahead and use this Caudalie. It's literally got lipstick all over it. Definitely not giving clean girl Sophia Richie aesthetic, but we're gonna just spray this all over the face for a nice dewy beginning. I have her video right here on my computer and this is her recreating her wedding day makeup. So that's the tutorial that we're gonna use today because it is super light makeup. I honestly think her wedding day makeup is less than my everyday makeup, <laughs> which might be humbling for me. But anyways, let's begin. Curious to see if I can recreate it on myself, 2023. It's beautiful. Okay, so she starts off with a glowy base. So I'm gonna use the Say Glowy Gel. This is super good and it leaves such a glowy base for you to start with. As you can see, it's super hydrating, it's super glowy, and it really allows the rest of your makeup to shine over top. I'm going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter just because this has a really light coverage. I feel like she hardly uses foundation, which I definitely go heavy on the foundation and I still might do it, even though this is supposed to be a very glowy look. We're getting married. <laughs> okay, so I'm using just the tiniest little bit of foundation just to have some coverage on my skin. Still being super light. 
the next thing that she does is she uses a cream contour which i don't know if i have a cream contour let me go check if i do i have a similar contour stick although hers is a little bit more cool tone and i think this is a little bit warmer those are the only spots she put it in and she's blending it out with a beauty blender For blush, she also used a like brownie kind of shade, orangey one. So I'm gonna use this one by Ilia. It's a little bit different shade, but this one is called Ladybird. And I'm just gonna put it on the highs of my cheeks. Now I'm kind of annoyed because she's using this Chanel highlighter that I literally bought because of her and I don't know where it is. I just came back from New York and I'm having a feeling that I might have left it in my friend's bag. So we're just gonna use a different highlighter. We're gonna use the Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Wand in Spotlight. And this is so pigmented so we really only need a little bit. She put a little bit on her cheekbones. And she even used her finger and put some under her eyebrow. And then she puts a shimmer on her eyelid. I'm gonna use this little shimmer. And then she used a little bit of a darker shade in her crease. As I'm seeing, she doesn't wear any concealer, which is crazy. I'm gonna use the tiniest bit of concealer on my problem areas. She said that she used bronzer on top, so I'm gonna be using this one by Charlotte Tilbury on just a big fluffy brush. So she uses a pencil for her eyebrow and she extends the tail a little bit. Some Laura Mercier powder. She used a mascara and then just like a pink nudie lipstick. That is what the final makeup look looks like. Guys, what do we think? I did use a little bit more of a pinky lipstick rather than hers, which was a little bit more orangey just because that is what I have. And I think that's what flatters my face more. But I really like the hair. Honestly, with all those hair products, my hair smells really good, which I think is the goal ultimately. This is my first Sophia Richie inspired outfit. This outfit was inspired by this photo and I'm feeling very classy, almost too classy. How do we feel? I feel like this is the perfect time to go get a latte at this Parisian cafe that I feel like Sophia Richie would go to if she lived in Vancouver. She says that she walks around an hour a day on one of her websites and you guys know she's very fit, especially before her wedding. She had to get in shape. So she did say that she worked out, which I did work out this morning, but I didn't vlog it. But the other thing that she said was that she walked a lot. So we're going to walk all the way there. This is the outfit that I'm gonna wear and I'm gonna feel like a fall princess as I get to my locations. I almost don't know if it's not hot enough to wear this yet, but I'm gonna do it anyways. To give you guys some details before I leave, these glasses, they are just these black little frames with brown lenses. They are from Vela, I think is how you say it. And then my coat is from Zara and my top, it's got no back, but I'm wearing a bra because y'all already know. I believe it's from Amazon. And then my bag, it looks like this. It is from Princess Polly. My jeans are from Oakenfort and my little booties here are from H&M, I believe. So yeah, that is the full fall fit. Let's go get our coffees and let's go on our walk.
new day and we've got a new Sofia Richie inspired outfit. Let me show you guys. What do we think? What do we think? I know this is like not the best place for me to show my outfit because I'm like so short, I have to be on my tippy toes right now. But this is a classic Sofia Richie outfit. As I was doing my research through her looks, I realized that she wears a lot of button ups. So this one is from Aritzia. I just buttoned it to leave one open and then kind of opened it a little bit more relaxed style. And I tucked it into my belt here, but let me show you guys one of these star items of this look, which is ah, this new bag. This is from Pauline. I think that's how you say it. Pauline, Pauline. This is a Parisian designer. They make bags and they sent me one and it just looks so high quality. It looks so... <sighs> is it bold of me to say old money when it's like... <laughs> You know, you know the vibe I'm trying to go for, okay? This bag is, uh, I think, like a middle price. Like, I think it's like $400, which is honestly kind of a lot for a bag. But in terms of designer bags, I know there's way more expensive bags, so obviously not. But it's just such high quality, and it really does make me realize that, like, craftsmanship and quality really does outdo, like, the random bag that you can buy. Then you keep having to rebuy them because they're not good quality. Like, I can just tell this bag would last me such a long time. After receiving this, and they actually sent me another one, I am, like, so much more inclined to start buying these purses and yes it does make me look more woman it does make me feel like i'm in my female um no that's the wrong word um like feminine energy woman era because it's definitely not your little like shoulder bag that i would wear in high school but it does just look so classy and i love it i paired this button up with a pair of blue jeans these are just from urban outfitters i'm definitely on the search for a good pair of denim because that is essential especially for sofia richie i saw her say that like a pair of good denims and a white top is her staple so i could definitely get a different pair of jeans but this is what we're working with right now my belt is from brandy melville and i'm wearing just a pair of white sneakers these are from superga which are again not my favorite but it's what we're working with and then i paired it with a bunch of gold jewelry. These little hoops are from Every Jewels. This necklace is from En Route. It is my collection that I did with them like two years ago. This ring is from Every Jewels. This bracelet is from Leah Alexandra. And then this cuff is from Heaven Mayhem, which I just received. I'm actually with Jacob today. So we're gonna go get a little breakfast and I'm gonna get my nails done today. We are going for a clean girl aesthetic French tip. Now, I don't think I've said it in this video already, but I am going to Paris next week i think i haven't even booked the tickets but i think it's happening so i feel like french tip is the perfect parisian nails and i think sophia richie does do like just plain either like nails like this which is just a peachy color or french tip and she definitely has like short nails in fact i'm pretty sure she just uses her bare nails but mine are so short it's embarrassing that i think we're gonna do acrylic so i'm gonna search up some of her nail inspiration on the way there we have her nails done and then yeah i'm gonna give you guys some more outfit ideas for what i think think she would wear. Outfit number three, Sophia Richie aesthetic. The nails are done and I am freaking obsessed. I ended up getting like a pearly white French tip. For this third outfit, we are going with cream classics. Hopefully you can see my outfit here, but I'm wearing a cream sweater from Princess Polly, which I think is essential for the fall, as well as this beige coat from Maritzia. This is the picture that I was trying to get inspiration from, and it's kind of more giving a rain trench coat, but this is the coat that I have that kind of matches that color, so that's what we're going with. And then I wore a white pair of pants. I definitely think trousers would have been more the vibe, but you know, we get it. And then she also wore some pointed toe booties, so that's what I'm doing. She wore some glasses. I'm giving a little egghead right now. I do think that I need to invest in a pair of black sunnies because that is what she wears with every single look. And then I also paired it with these beautiful earrings from Heaven Mayhem. Let's try on another outfit. The next outfit we have is a super casual and simple daytime look. This is something that I've seen Sophia Richie wear a lot throughout all the Pinterest photos that I found. This is just a classic blue pair of jeans and a white top. The top is from Brandy Melville and the jeans are from Oakenfort. And then she wore a little sweater over top. This one is just a little cable knit cardigan from Brandy Melville as well. And then I'm pairing it with my Adidas Sambas. The next outfit is for a little party or daytime look. This dress is from House of CB and I think it's so cute and I love the structured vibe to 
to it. I feel like she would wear this maybe. I don't know. I just really like it and I feel like it looks a little bit more classy. My purse is from Michael Kors, which I'm absolutely obsessed with. I love the straps. It kind of is giving Chanel inspired. And with the pops of red, I think it's so cute. My shoes are these little white platform heels with a square toe from Zara. The last and final outfit is just an everyday classy elevated look. This top is an off the shoulder sweater from Urban Outfitters. I'm wearing the effortless pants from Aritzia and then I'm pairing it with a gold belt from Michael Kors. I'm wearing some black platform loafers and some black glasses. Okay, now I have spent some time making a little PowerPoint presentation for you guys. I felt like I was in school making this little presentation, but I think this will be super fun for you guys to get a full grasp on what this aesthetic looks like and if you want to get the look as well because this is such an easy aesthetic to replicate and I feel like it's so popular right now, just like the old money, a little bit more mature, a little bit more modest look and I'm going to show you guys exactly how to get that. So, get the look, Sophia Richie aesthetic, let's get into it. The first thing we're going to talk about is outfit essentials, starting off with tops. This is going to be the basic for your capsule wardrobe. This is a lot of neutrals, white, black, grays. Here's a bunch of different examples you can find. We're talking about t-shirts, long sleeves, sweaters, tank tops, little button-ups. These are essentials and honestly, even though I love color and I still will incorporate a lot of color, especially for the fall and winter, having these basic items is so helpful for you because you won't have to like throw out trendy pieces after you've worn them too many times. This will be in your closet forever. By the way, you guys can screenshot this so you can remember it and if you need to go shopping, you can use this as like your checklist. The next thing we're talking about is the pants outfit essentials. I'm talking about jeans. I feel like having a good quality pair is, you know, your set if you have that. Also trousers. This is so Sophia Richie, a little bit wider legged. If you have like linen material, it's just such good quality and the ones from Aritzia are amazing. I put long skirts. Sophia Richie isn't wearing as many mini skirts right now, but mini skirts are so in. So if you like that, and I mean, that's my personal style, I would be incorporating that as well. You can even put like tights under it. Again, focus on quality over quantity. A, a good pair of pants that is form fitting will make you look so put together. Now, one of the main things that I see Sophia Richie wear in all of her outfits is she usually has a really nice coat or jacket on. So I'm going to show you a few of her examples. In this first one, you can see she's wearing a whole bunch of different long coats. We've got some leather coats and I love the little Sherpa on the last one. She also wears a lot of blazers and trench coats. These, again, elevate an outfit so much and you look so classy wearing them. Now for her nighttime outfit essentials, I feel like she either has a little gala with her husband or some sort of fancy dinner event where she wears a long dress or if she's having a little girls night or party, cocktail party vibe, she's gonna be wearing a short dress. So here are some examples that I found. I love that her fancy event dinner outfits are very high neck and show off her figure really well. And then as for her cocktail party girls night look, she's still being pretty conservative in the sense of showing cleavage, but I like that she's showing her shoulders or that the dress is a little bit sheer. And I just think these are two really cute looks. Now, a main component of Sophia Richie's outfit is of course the quiet luxury and old money look. I think she wears a lot of Chanel, which is a lot of black and white, just very preppy style. So here's the mood board for that. As you can see again, usually it's high neck. She's having a lot of Chanel inspired pieces, a lot of neutrals, black and white. She doesn't use as many patterns and in fact, all of these materials look like they'd be such high quality. Overall though, it is very flattering pieces and very proportional for her body type. Another thing that I noticed while looking for her outfit inspiration is that she wears a lot of monochromatic outfits, which means wearing an outfit that consists of one color. Here you can see a whole bunch of her different outfits where she's usually only wearing one color and I think they're so cute. She usually pairs it with a little handbag. I'm not sure what the exact name of it is, but with like a little top handle, I feel like that's her style in bags a lot of the time and of course with pointed shoes. And then the final thing I wanted to show you guys is a whole bunch of different inspiration ideas for some outfit accessories. As you know, accessories can completely elevate a look and it can take your boring plain outfit to a whole different place with the use of accessories. Of course, you don't need to buy luxury jewelry. I mean, if you can afford it, go at it. It's beautiful. I love that she has like the Cartier bracelets and the Van Cleef. I love that she wears a lot of like watches. The pictures that I showed here are some vintage watches. She also wears a lot of pointed toe heels and I put in some images Images of some vintage heels that I think are super cute and some little ballet flats also some neutral purses and again something I mentioned earlier was that in almost all of her outfits for street style she wears sunglasses so there's some inspiration for glasses and yeah those are all the things that I wanted to say you can kind of do a little style steal if you want to get her style or incorporate these into your outfit
outfits. I feel like especially for people my age right now, maybe they're entering the workforce, maybe you're trying to elevate your style from like wearing the crop tops in high school to a little bit more classy and just like woman vibes. I feel like these are all things that you can use as inspiration for your own outfit. Hey, yeah, really busy. The next morning I wore a Sofia Richie inspired workout outfit. From her videos, I saw that she wears a lot of all black, which I love. I feel like it looks very luxurious and I paired it with a purse and my Uggs. As you can see, the fall weather looks so nice right now, but this morning I went on a hot girl walk because you know, she's all about her Pilates and getting her steps in. So I walked all the way to a coffee shop and I just did some work there, had a little latte, had a little lemon loaf. It was so good. I'm low-key scared to step out into the rain, but I guess this is giving fall, fall vibes. I know y'all love to see me cook and love the fall weather, so it's definitely not giving Sophia Richie LA weather, but it's fall, okay? So let's go get our food. This is my new trench coat from Aritzia. I got it at the Aritzia warehouse sale. I've never worn it before. I'm honestly so excited for fall weather. I have been stocking up on all the fall necessities for a while now, so. I'm ready! Not gonna lie, my apartment is an absolute disaster now that I've been filming all these outfits, but I'm feeling inspired and good. So this is what we're looking like right now. How cute. <laughs> to cook dinner. It's been so many hours later, it's like literally 9 p.m. But we're gonna cook dinner and I was like, you know, I'm gonna play some tunes. And then I remembered, I remembered. Sophia Richie's dad is the Lionel Richie. <sighs> Do I know who Lionel Richie is? Not really, and that might be super out of touch, but I actually don't. I feel like I, wait, wait, I totally do. I know that he's a legend and I feel like I don't know enough of his songs. So as I cook myself some dinner, I'm gonna listen to Lionel Richie. I'm gonna look up a recipe on how to make salmon. I'm pretty sure in her Vogue video, she just literally made salmon and veggies. And I also saw online that during her wedding prep, she was just eating like protein and veggies. So I think I've got some broccoli and I've got some salmon. So I'm just gonna make it how I know how to make it. Put it in the air fryer, basically put some like honey on it. I feel like you could put anything in the air fryer, chuck it in and it turns out delicious. Oh, it's not cutting at all. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 